Welcome back. Well, here's the current view looking out from Bethany Lutheran College in Mankato showing another quiet start to another day of this week. And I know temperatures have been warmer and I know a lot of you are waiting for those fall like temperatures. They are around the corner, but we are still looking at some warmer than average temperatures through the rest of this week. At least we get sunshine and dry conditions to take advantage of those warm temperatures, but also that's not a great thing because we are in much need of some rain out there. Temperatures right now, 40s and 50s, though most of the area in the 50s, we are seeing as low as 45 degrees in Forest City with 46 degrees in Wyndham and Mason City. We're sitting at 47 degrees down by Spencer, 48 in Albert Lee with 49 right now in St. St. James and Blue Earth. Everywhere else is in the low to upper 50s, seeing 52 degrees in Slayton and Jackson, as well as New Ulm and Glencoe. 55 degrees right here in Mankato, with up to 59 currently in St. Peter. Now, comparing these temperatures this morning right now to yesterday's morning temperatures, you can see most of the area seeing an increase or a warmer start to the day today compared to yesterday. Now, where you see these positive numbers, that means that's how much warmer it is today compared to yesterday. So for example, Mankato, St. Peter and out by Slayton seeing a three degree warmer difference today than yesterday. Five degrees for that difference in Wasika. The warmest difference is seven degrees warmer in Worthington than yesterday. Where you see some of these minus numbers or negatives, that means it's that many degrees cooler than yesterday morning. So we are seeing a little bit of some of the area seeing some cooler conditions to start the day off. But overall, most of the area is seeing warmer changes out there, which indicates a warmer afternoon on the way. Winds are very light once again, coming out of the south southwest, anywhere from calm conditions up to 10 miles an hour. We're going to hold on to those light winds through the day, as well as those clear skies and sunshine. Temperatures, we're still holding on to those summertime temperatures out there with highs in the low 80s, looking at 81 for this afternoon. Now, our average temperature for this time of year is right around 70 degrees, give or take a degree or two. So we've been fairly above average for the month of September, which is the start of meteorological fall. So as of right now, again, this doesn't include today or the rest of the month, which is I know only a few more days, but as of right now, up until yesterday, we are sitting at an average September temperature of 67.5 degrees. That is our average high because if you think back, we did have a few cooler days mixed in, so that does kind of help bring that average down, but it's still warmer than our 30 year average, which sits at about 62.9 degrees. To put into comparison, this is a 4.6 degree difference, seeing warmer temperatures this September compared to our 30 year average overall. Now taking that a little bit further, the number of days that we have seen above average for the entire meteorological season, which goes from September 1st through November 30th, has also increased. From 1970, we saw anywhere from about 35 to 40 um, days above average, and that's this white line here. Now we're seeing just over 50 days above average, which is an increase of 15 more days, 15 additional days that we are seeing above average temperatures for the fall season. Now again, taking this into another step, the more days that we see above average, the more that's going to increase our average high for the, the meteorological fall season. So again, back in 1970, we had an average high of about 45.9 ish degrees by 2023 that has risen 3.3 degrees for an average high just over 48 degrees so again we are seeing those warming trends and they are likely to continue tonight will be comfortable with a low of 53 degrees by tomorrow morning here's a quick look at your extended forecast showing we're going to hold on to these summertime temperatures through the rest of the month so it is likely that those temperatures will increase a little bit for our average for the month of september we'll welcome october with more fall like temperatures hovering in the mid to upper 60s and low 70s. Stay tuned, we'll wrap things up when we return.